Welcome back to Axis and Allies, the Anniversary Edition. I think I'm going to change my mind a little bit. I was going to just do uh, to the end of the U.S. turn here and call it a game. But you know what? Let's play this thing out to the end. And by the end, what I mean is when one of the major powers um, centers disappears. So if uh, Germany gets wiped out or Russia gets wiped out or Italy gets wiped out completely... I think then it will become pretty obvious, but the things have been swinging back and forth quite a bit. So you know what? Let's uh, let's just keep going as long as we can until it is absolutely obvious that there's no way uh, one side or the other can can come back from it. All right, up this turn, the UK, United Kingdom, they have quite a fleet. They have a lot of troops. They have a couple of bombers. They are ready to uh, do some invading. They don't have much going on over here. The Japanese have them kind of pinned down. Borneo and Australia. And they've got a couple of troops in Africa. But, well, the, the U.S. is on their way to take care of that situation, we hope. All right, let's uh, figure out what the U.K. is going to build. I think they have 33 IPCs. So with 33, well, let's see what they're going to build. All right, for the U.K., they're going to build two infantry, four armored units, and one more transport. And that is going to take them to their 33 IPCs spent. And then tomorrow, we're going to be back to Italy. All right, let's see what the U.K. is going to do as far as attacks go. All right, D-Day has come. <laughs> so they're going to take their entire fleet, plus this one. So this can go one, two... These ones are going to go 1-2. So everything is going to end up in C-Zone 7. Battleship and two cruisers. Uh, battleship, two cruisers. And four transports. And with the four transports, they're going to bring... I'm going to put everything in here in Spain. Four infantry are going to land in France, as well as the four artillery coming in here. All right. Uh, and yes, and the two bombers. One, two, three. Or is no one two, so the, the two bombers are coming in as well. They're not doing any bombing runs, they're just coming right in uh, as the D Day invasion. So that's going to give them a movement of four afterwards, right? Because it's one, yeah, one two. And there's no anti aircraft there. Oh boy. And I do believe that's going to be the end of the British UK aggression this time. So I'm just going to readjust the camera slightly here and we're going to get rolling dice and see if the UK can take over uh, France for their D-Day invasion. Alright, I think that's pretty good. We can get the dice tower up in there nicely and away we go. We have offshore bombardment. We've got a battleship and two cruisers. The two cruisers are going to hit on three. Uh, that's two hits. Oy, oy. The battleship hits on a four. That's going to be three hits just from offshore bombardment. Wow, they are pounding the Germans and Italians over France. And now we have um, eight rolling at two. We have four infantry and four artillery. Uh, so that's eight dice hitting on twos. So I'm going to split this up and roll two sets of four hitting on two. Uh, that's one more hit to make that total of four hits and then we have the other group uh, that's two more hits we're up to six hits and we have two bombers coming in as well one more hit so that's a total of seven hits against the defense in france and france has two four they have six so yeah they the first invasion has completely annihilated all troops in france they do get to retaliate though so there's two four there's five infantry they hit on twos, uh, and they did a fine job. They have four hits. Wow! <laughs> okay, and they have one aircraft there hitting on a four or less for defense. That's so five hits, seven to five. Well, okay, that was very costly for the UK, but it was costly as well for Italy and Germany because they are out of here. They are completely out of here. And they lost an aircraft, which is going to hurt them pretty bad. All right. And we have to lose five. So they'll lose the five or four infantry, one artillery. And they have got three artillery now uh, in France. And that's going to give them an uh, IPC boost of six. 
All right, so the UK and their bombers will fly back to the UK. That's non-combat. I don't think they have any other non-combat. All right, let's figure out what they're going to do for... Um, yeah, for the IPCs. So like I said, that's going to be six up for the UK and six down for Germany. Six down for Germany, 23. So one, two, three, four. They're down to 17 IPCs for Germany and 36 up to 42 for the UK. Wow. Tying the US now at 42 IPCs. Holy moly. Okay, uh, and now it is time to go ahead and put our troops down. So in the UK, they got a couple of infantry coming in here. They have four armored units coming in here and another transport. So now they got five transports, two cruisers, a battleship, and they've got three artillery brigades down here in France. Those are short-lived, I'm sure. However, <laughs> not a bad, not a bad move for the UK. Okay, that's going to be it for the UK. I think that was very quick, but uh, I'm just doing one country an episode. So they're just gearing up to keep hammering on Germany uh, on the coast there. So they will be collecting their 42 IPCs. <laughs> wow. All right, let's zoom the camera out and we're going to be wrapping up our episode for today. All right, well, it was a very costly landing in France, but the UK has built up a game. We got the US with, uh, they got four transports and a whole pile of troops as well, possibly coming over to support that uh, D-Day landing. So we'll see what happens in future episodes. But so far, so good. Uh, yeah, we've got the Allies are doing pretty well. Now, Japan's the only real big threat at the moment. They can start steamrolling right across Asia into uh, Russian territory. However, uh, if the pressure is taken off the Russians, they can about face and just steamroll back right over the Japanese. So we'll figure out how that plays out. Uh, in the following episodes. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, descriptions, likes. Really helps out my channel. Really appreciate it. This is the Axis and Allies Anniversary Edition game. I really, really do like this version. Up next we have Italy. And Italy uh, it has got to help out Germany. Uh, looks like their, their bid to take over Africa is a little bit in trouble. The U.S. and the U.K. is holding out here pretty good. So we'll see what happens there. So thanks so much for watching along, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for the continuation, and it will be Italy's turn.